All right, welcome guys. Uh, this is a video about factoring. Uh, this is part one of my factoring series because there are a few different videos that will break down the topic of factoring quite nicely. And this is definitely the most simple version of factoring. Okay, so the first thing that we see here is that we have a trinomial. And this is the kind of answers that we can expect uh, if we had had some kind of thing to multiply that came from FOIL. Okay. Now, if you haven't seen the previous video on FOIL, I recommend you go back and watch that before you do this, because the purpose of factoring is to basically do FOIL backwards. They want to know what were the original numbers inside the parentheses. That's what factoring does. Okay. And the very first thing that I want to point out here is that these are special problems. The first thing that's very significant is that the first number right here is basically a 1. Okay, And this first number right here is also basically a 1. These are the simplest version of factoring problems. And if you don't have a 1, there's a special strategy called factoring by grouping, which will be covered in a later video. The second significant thing, okay, so the first significant thing is that our leading number was a 1 and a 1. You don't have to write those, I'm just letting you know. And the second significant thing is that the final sign, the final number right here, this 6, is positive. And also this 6 is positive. All right, so let's take a look at uh, how we can figure out what was going on here. Now, these 1s are not that important. I can take those out for the problem-solving process. The positive sign tells me it tells me that the middle two numbers, that these middle signs must have been positive. Because when I did the L in FOIL to make this 6, when I did the L in FOIL to make this 6, the resulting answer was a positive answer, which means that it was either negative and negative or positive and positive. And if I look at this middle term right here, so once I see that both signs are the same, the plus sign tells me both signs are the same. And the, again, the reason for that is that it's a plus because the only way you could have gotten a plus was negative times negative or positive times positive. Okay, once you look at that sign, that's step one. Step two is to look at this sign, and that will tell you exactly what went in the middle. So that should have been a plus and also a plus. Okay, and we'll figure this out again uh, to go backwards on it. So, actually, let's move these up here. Okay, now I'm gonna look at, well, what numbers could I have multiplied what numbers could I have multiplied to make a positive 6 and could have combined to make a positive 5? So this 6 came from right here. They multiplied to make a 6, and they combined to make this 5. Well, the obvious answer is 3 times 2 and 3 plus 2. 3 times 2 would make a 6, so that takes care of the multiplying, and 3 plus 2 would make a 5, and that takes care of the combining. Okay, so that means that my final numbers inside these parentheses had to be 3 and 2, and then the x and the x squared actually came from x times x. Okay. And what you can see is that once you're done with the problem, you could FOIL it out again. So x times x would make x squared. x times 2x, or I'm sorry, x times 2 would be plus 2x. x times 3 would be plus 3x. And 3 times 2 is positive 6. And of course, if I add those up, I get back to my original answer. So this is just checking my answer. But the real question here was this, number one, this was my question. 
And this right here is my answer. So that's the first problem. All right, now that you've seen it, you might want to watch it again, see how it works, pause the video, take a second, and then try the second one on your own. So pause the video and try the second one on your own, or rewind back, watch this again, and then pause the video and try the second one on your own, whatever you feel more comfortable. Okay, second one's going to be a little bit faster. So here we go. Here's the second practice problem. We're trying to go backwards on foil. So I'm going to put here my parentheses that I need to make. Step one, I'm going to look at that plus sign, and it tells me again that both signs were the same. Except now when I do step two, it tells me that both signs were minus. So right here is minus and minus. They have to be the same because they made a positive. Okay, now I need two numbers that multiply to make six and that combine to make negative seven. Well, there's an easy answer. Uh, negative one times negative six. And right here, I can see that negative one minus six would make negative seven. So that takes care of the multiplying and the combining. Okay, so it's already negative, negative one and negative six, x and x. And if I wanna check my answer, I can do x times x makes x squared. Negative six x is my outer, my inner is negative x, and my last is positive six. And that's going to make me x squared minus 7x plus 6, which means that I had the correct answer. So again, this was my question. And this was my answer. Okay. So in this video, we reviewed factoring. This is the first video about factoring when your last number is positive and your lead coefficient or your first number is one. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to visit the website at www.grassymath.com.